Hello and welcome back to the new video of the Postman tutorial series. So till now we have covered uh, uh, our introduction. Uh, we have seen our uh, Postman features and we have also seen uh, set, uh, installation of the Postman and uh, in our previous video we have seen how we can create our very first API request in the Postman. Okay, so moving forward uh, to, to for you to understand what is Postman, first you need to understand what is API. Right, so all you do in, in Postman is uh, API testing, okay. So first we in this video we will understand what is API and uh, in our upcoming videos or the next video then we will uh, move forward uh, how we can uh, use the Postman, right. So for this video we will see what is API. So the formal definition for the API is API stand for uh, application programming interface in the context of APIs the word application refers to an any software with a distinct function also you can assume any software that you use your in your day-to-day -day life which has an api and the a, a interface can be uh, thought as a contract or a service between two applications in this contract defines how to communicate with each other using the requests and responses okay uh, so uh, assume it as a uh, we will try to give uh, examples and try to understand what is API what we, we are trying to say in this formal definition so assume uh, you have one uh, application uh, okay where uh, we are trying to book our hotels okay so uh, in in your uh, uh, many application like make my trip yatra.com you you see there uh, you have to put your uh, location uh, location and then you have to put your uh, check-in date check-in date and uh, checkout date checkout date so these are the parameters that they have asked and there is one button uh, name as submit once you hit the submit button the your all these fields uh, value will get uh, uh, get fetched and it is uh, being sent to the server and assume this is this is your server where all the all those information about the hotels are stored and for this example i assume there is only one hotel present at this location uh, okay and once you hit that submit button your request will get to uh, uh, sent to the server and server will uh, check whether uh, this location and this time and this checkout time this checking time with how many uh, hotels are there and the server will uh, send back the response or will give, give the response back to back to the client uh, over here uh, the server will send the request back to the client and client in 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 the client uh, gui or the user uh, graphical user interface the client will able to see uh, the server uh, the response that is being given by the server so this is our server and where all the information of the hotels are stored okay so this communication of client client is nothing but a browser or any applic end, end application uh, maybe it android application or the browser uh, let it be chrome we assume we are going to yatra.com and we are fed, uh, giving all these details and tell hitting the submit button and on on submit button click uh, the response is given uh, to the server and server in response will give the all the details of the hotels which are present for that location in that check-in and check-out timing okay so this communication of client to the server and server to the client is happens over the network so there is one network uh, or which this uh, all this communication happens and this communication to happen between client and server we require api right so there is an api of which do all this task of uh, fetching the uh, giving the response uh, giving the details and getting back the response all this work done by an api okay so uh, at first you given the information that information is converted uh, converted into xml or json format uh, we will see what are xml and json format so that format is understandable by the server and those are converted into xml and json format and that, that uh, response is uh, sent through api over the network to the server and server process that or uh, interprets that uh, information that he gets from the api and process that information and send back the response uh, in the xml or json format 
and that response we will uh, fetch it over here and uh, put it uh, in a user understandable uh, manner okay so this is our first example where you can see how apis works uh, and how we can uh, communicate uh, to the client server okay so another example is uh, you go to the restaurant uh, i hope you uh, once in a week you go to the uh, restaurant once and there is one kitchen in the restaurant right so there's one kitchen in the restaurant and one waiter is there okay so you could have asked uh, why once you go to the restaurant you you could have asked i directly go to the kitchen and give my uh, order right so uh, it will uh, tell uh, it will save the job of the waiter right i will go right into the kitchen and order something but assume there are thousands of users uh, which came to the restaurant and they are also going to the kitchen and there is only one chef or two chefs which are handling those requests of food and then in that case that the this might be hectic to the uh, chefs uh, working at the kitchen then in that case waiter will come into the picture there are multiple waiters we can uh, assign and those waiters will take the uh, request from the user and the waiter will process that request and give back to the kitchen to, uh, to the chef and chef will proce process your food and get back to the waiter and waiter waiter will in response will give your uh, get your uh, response from the kitchen and serve you the dish at the end user so this kind of uh, communication is required when you have uh, multiple users uh, which are trying to hit that uh, kitchen and in that case waiter which acts as an api uh, is required to make that communication happen okay so this communication that i have told you in the first uh, first uh, example over here uh, do require some uh, authentication there are some apis that require some authentication right so uh, assume you are the uh, yatra.com uh, owner and this is the central db of the some uh, airlines uh, it may the airline may be uh, indigo uh, air india or any uh, any airlines you, you could have imagined and these uh, user will came in here and uh, give their uh, of preferred location where they where the user want to go and user this request is given to the server of indigo or the air india any airlines and that airlines in response will give the response that to the client that this many flights are there from our airlines which uh, go uh, goes from this location to this location so uh, so the these kind of apis do require authentication uh, auth is required authentication is required in order to understand that yeah this is the uh, yatra.com client which is a verified and genuine client which trying to hit a request to my server uh, or the indigo server uh, trying to fetch the details of the flights which are going from this location to this location uh, so this authentication is done and uh, in response the server of the indigo will give back the response uh, or the number of the flights that are available uh, in that location and it will also give the current uh, booking status of the user as well uh, how many seats are uh, booked and how many seats are not booked okay so this is how apis are uh, api works over the network uh, some auth some api do require authentication some api doesn't require any authentication uh, i hope uh, by using this two example you got some idea what are api and how they works uh, so thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.